In this video, I want to show you guys an amazing tool for Windows called S Delete. It's a short name for Secure Delete. So this thing is from the Microsoft and it is a command line utility. Don't worry, there is also a GUI available. We'll talk about that as we go through this video because that's what I'm going to be showing you actually because I also don't like Terminal. Okay, <laughs> so this is a tool which lets you delete files from your system securely. When you use this tool to delete anything from your system, it becomes unrecoverable basically. So I think most people know this. When you delete something from your system, it can be actually recovered using the recovery tools. Any files that you have deleted permanently using the normal delete option, this one that we have. So when you use this, yeah, uh, you can recover any file using recovery tool. But if you use this option, secure delete, then you won't be able to recover the files that you have deleted. So if you want to learn more about it, how it works and all that, you should go to this official website. If you're interested in how to use it in command prompt, yeah, there are full instructions. I'm going to show you guys easy way to use it. So there is this free and open source software at GitHub called sdelete GUI. So basically you get the GUI uh, for the sdelete and you don't have to touch the terminal. So to download this tool, just go to releases and then download the exe file and then go to your downloads folder and run the sdelete GUI and then it will give you this option. How many passes you want to use and enable and disable. That's it. It's pretty simple application. Higher passes means higher chances of making data non-recoverable. Okay, by default it uses 10, but you can use less or more. Okay, so I have this enabled already, so I can disable it. Now it's gone. I can enable it and now it will say configured as delete will use 10 passes. Okay, now you can close this application and you don't have to use this application after this unless you want to remove it from the system now select any file or folder that you want to delete securely you don't want that file to be recoverable just select the option secure delete okay it won't ask for the confirmation no nothing like that it will just completely delete that file from your system or from your hard drive and this can also be used to clean up the hard disks too like for example you can right click on the hard drive and here you'll see the option secure delete when you do this what it's going to do is it's going to fill the space with zeros so what this will do is basically make all the data that was on the drive unrecoverable but it won't delete the files that you have on your drive it's just gonna you know clean up the free space now there is one important thing you need to know about this tool uh, don't use this on ssd i've heard that if you use this on ssd ssd might get damaged or won't work properly so it's okay to delete files from the ssd by using secure delete it's absolutely fine but don't use this to uh, free up the free space on your ssd okay that's all but if you have hdd or any other uh, type of storage device like USB drive or anything like that. Let's actually uh, run this one more time. I'm just going to use the one pass. Less pass means it's going to be faster basically. Okay, so I'm going to enable it with one pass so, so I can show you guys the demo. So I'm going to use this USB drive. This is not a SSD uh, to, you know, actually let me put some files in here, like for example, these two. So when I use secure delete on a drive directly, it won't touch the files. It will only clean up the free space and make the data recovery impossible. Okay, so I'm going to actually do a secure delete here with one pass and it should be faster now. So I'm going to let this run actually. Okay, it's taking longer than I expected probably because of the USB drive. It's slow, you know, compared to HDD. Here you can see all my files are here. There are temporary files of sdelete. Don't worry about it. Once everything is done, oh, it's going faster now somehow. <laughs> Once it's done, uh, these temporary files will go away basically. Or if you, let's say, accidentally close this, these temporary files will just go away. 
uh, you know, even if you interrupt this process, it will still work. Okay, so if you want the full disk cleanup, don't interrupt this, let it finish. Pretty useful if you wanna permanently delete your data and make your data unrecoverable from your drive. That's it, hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.